In this video, let's implement methods to delete an edge and a vertex from a graph. Let's start with edge removal. The method name is remove edge, which will accept two parameters, vertex one and vertex two. To remove an edge, we delete the entry from the adjacent vertex list. First, delete vertex2 from vertex1. So this dot adjacency list of vertex1 dot delete vertex2. And similarly, delete vertex1 from vertex2. Here, delete is a built-in method on the set data structure. This pretty much is the remove edge method. Let's test it out. Call graph dot remove edge, passing in a comma b. Call display again and run the code. You can see we only have the connection between b and c. The connection between a and b has been removed. Next, let's understand how to delete a vertex from the graph. Let's call the method remove vertex, which accepts the vertex to be deleted. Within the method body, we first ensure the vertex exists in the graph. So if not this dot adjacency list, of vertex, we simply return from the function. However, if the vertex does exist, we need to remove edges from the vertex and all its adjacent vertices. So for let adjacent vertex of this dot adjacency list of vertex, we call the remove edge method we have just created. We pass in vertex as the first argument and the adjacent vertex as the second argument. When the for loop exits, all the edges from the vertex and its adjacent vertices have been removed. At this point, we can safely delete the vertex itself. Delete this dot adjacency list of vertex. This is the implementation of the remove vertex method. Let's test it out. Instead of removing the edge, I'm going to remove vertex B. Run the code. And we see we now have only A and C as vertices, and they don't have any adjacent vertices. Vertex B has been removed from the graph. Our code works as expected. Now all the methods have a constant time complexity, except for remove vertex, whose time complexity depends on the number of adjacent vertices. With that, we have implemented all the custom data structures we set out to implement at the start of this series. In the next video, let me suggest where to go from here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.